organic blueberry pressed under a wet rock from a babbling brook. Fresh cut thyme, horse saddle. White grapes. Wine. Wine tasting is like any other skill. It can be really intimidating, confusing, and weird when you first get started, but with some basic tasting knowledge and a little practice, you can learn how to taste wine like a pro. After all, we're just drinking some wine, people. I'm Rebecca Rose Phillips, certified sommelier, wine director, and fast food connoisseur. And in this video, I'm gonna give you three super simple tricks that will help you feel more confident when you're talking about wine, tasting wine, and really enjoying your wine, because that's what it's all about. All right, wine peeps, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more easy wine tips, crazy canned wine reviews, and fast food pairings. And remember to hit the bell so that you're notified every time I post a video. Step one, hold, smell, and swirl. Hold your wine always by the stem of the glass, not the bowl. If you hold it by the bowl, you're going to affect the temperature of the wine. White wines are served optimally around 50 degrees, and red wines are served a little bit warmer at about 65 degrees, just under room temperature. Swirl. I know, it's hard not to look like a douchebag when you're sitting over there swirling your wine. But the truth is, when you swirl it, you're infusing oxygen into the wine, and that's gonna wake up all of the aroma. If you're curious if this really works, when you first get your glass, give it a sniff. Then give it a really nice big swirl for a couple of seconds, then give it another sniff. I guarantee you it will be more aromatic. When we smell the wine, most of the flavor is actually coming from the aroma. Research says that up to 80% of the flavor is actually coming from the smell. So when you stick your nose in there and you smell all the fruits and herbs and spices, these aromas are making up for a huge percent of the pleasure of enjoying this glass. So now we're going in for a taste. So grab your wine by the stem and take a nice big sip. And when you take this sip, make sure to let the wine really coat your mouth. Even if you look like an insane person, go ahead, give it a little swish. Make sure it gets all around your taste buds. So if 80% of the flavor is coming from the smell, what you're mostly tasting is the structure of the wine. The sweetness, the acid, the tannin, the alcohol, and the texture. The structures in the wine, plus the aromas that you smelled beforehand, are going to come together to create the overall flavor in the wine. Notice how those flavors evolve on your palate. So if you smelled the wine, and you got this ripe, bright cherry, then you tasted the wine, and it was acidic, that cherry fruit might turn into tart, underripe cherry. Or maybe you smelled the wine, and it was like a beautiful citrus smell. And then on the palate, you got some sweetness from the wine, some residual sugar. Maybe that citrus smell turned into the flavor of like an orange gummy bear. Step three, note the finish. If the wine has a short finish, then you're gonna swallow it and the flavors are gonna disappear pretty quickly. If the wine has a long finish, then even after you've swallowed the wine, you might still notice a lot of flavors on your palate. Maybe you're still getting hints of spicy black pepper, or maybe your mouth still feels lush from like a rich, bright apricot. So there you have it. Three super simple tips for tasting wine like a pro. But let's be real. There's no wrong way to drink wine. So swirl, sip, twirl, however you want. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, for more wine reviews, and for great wines paired with fast food. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Let's Talk About Wine for all my daily wine shenanigans. And don't forget, wine goes with everything. <laughs>